Multimorbidity, the coexistence of two or more long-term conditions, is a growing global health challenge that affects a large proportion of the world's population. This challenge is growing as a result of an epidemiological and demographic shift. The prevalence of multimorbidity is often associated with socio-economic status, with those from poorer economic areas being more likely to develop multimorbidity than those from wealthier economic areas. Combined with the fact that multimorbidity is more common in the elderly, it will become a particular burden in low- and middle-income countries, such as South Africa, as life expectancy continues to rise. The Academy of Medical Sciences and the Academy of Science of South Africa hosted a two-day workshop in Johannesburg examining the problems and possible solutions around multimorbidity in South Africa. It was found that the current single disease model for treating disease is outdated and unhelpful to deal with the increasing burden of multimorbidity. For example, the presence of infections such as HIV and tuberculosis in multimorbidity is not currently being identified as part of surveillance programs. This results in it being difficult to get a sense of the extent to which non-communicable diseases are emerging among people who are HIV positive. There is also a gap between knowledge of the high mortality from chronic conditions and the ability to address this, as well as difficulties in the implementation of integrated disease care. Inadequate education and health literacy creates additional difficulties for patients managing more than one disease. Multimorbidity is also associated with poor mental health, as physical diseases can cause poor mental health and vice versa. So what are the possible solutions? Mental health is central to the management of multimorbidity and should no longer be ignored. The determinants of multimorbidity have been studied in high-income countries, but the growing burden of non-communicable diseases in LMICs necessitates studies in these countries too. Health systems should be developed to more effectively diagnose, assess severity and monitor multimorbidity, in addition to providing adequate treatment and management. The patient perspective is vital, and any research recommendations must reflect patient priorities. Activities that can reduce risk factors common in multimorbidity prevalence should also be encouraged. And worldwide, policymakers need to do more to tackle health inequalities brought about by multimorbidity and to provide for their complex needs. For more information, visit the Academy of Medical Sciences website to download the workshop report and read more about the Academy's International Working Group on Multimorbidity.